Oh, hey there. Welcome to uh, Old Anvil Speed Shop. And our final two weeks of getting this car ready for the Sloniker at uh, Grand National Roaster Show. Uh, we've still got a lot to do, so uh, follow along and see how busy we get after it. I just saw fire come out of the engine. Well, let me show you around this build. It's a 1968 Charger. It came to us, it's been in a couple other shops and had some work done to it. And uh, so, but some of it just didn't suit what we wanted to do with the car. Uh, we talked to the owner and worked things out. It, uh, it currently has a 556 inch Hemi, makes about 900 horsepower, it was built by QMP Racing. They're a phenomenal engine builder. Um, it also has a G-Force uh, transmission, so in it with a uh, V-gate shifter, so it's just move it back and forth and shift and go through the gears. It's pretty awesome uh, deal. It's probably the most bulletproof uh, manual transmission out there, and um, it sits really low to the ground. Got an independent rear. The uh, we have shot wheels had custom made for it. Uh, Willwood brakes all the way around. 15 inch in the front are massive. Uh, what else we have uh we're doing a full custom interior we've got our set of gauges in it old anvil speed shop gauges we custom made a billet dash it's all cerakoted um, we're doing a full leather interior from relicate leather really nice soft leather it's gonna be gorgeous um, we have this beautiful ppg paint it actually came from a i think it's a nissan color um, but it just, it really flops in the sunlight. Can't wait till we get it to the show and can really see what's going on. Well, I gotta get back to work, but uh, we'll get Jeff over here and he'll tell you all about the paint scheme and the colors and all we chose. That was quite a chore. Well, hello there. We went through a whole lot of combinations, a whole lot of colors and stuff when we were doing this. Uh, nothing's more iconic than an orange charger though. So that's what we kind of stuck with. The owner really wanted to do orange. Um, we did this kind of burnt orange, a little bit more modern looking. In fact, there's a whole lot of variations. I, I think you might see those too. On this one, what we ended up doing, we wanted to do like a kind of a blacked out, modernized feel. So we blacked out all the chrome. Uh, if you look, all the, all the gray accents, tungsten colors, magnesium colors, uh, these stripes and stuff, they're kind of derived from, these are kind of fake air exhaust ports. So it has these on the hood too. Um, we wanted to do something that was kind of a very muscle car feel, but something different. So that's what that is. And it kind of, if you notice, it fades from black to a lighter gray in the back that kind of incorporates all the colors that we're using on this car. Um, you can pick up both those colors in the wheels, and of course we have the, the Hemi orange stripes and stuff. Um, that's derived a little bit from all the different muscle cars in the era had, uh, like the Fords had the laser, was it laser tape stripes? Mopar had a lot of the, the strobe stripes and stuff, so kind of a little bit, a little bit of a mix of everything. Um, nothing, nothing too specific though. But I think the end result is a very Mopar looking car, which is what we wanted it to be, so. What else can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going everybody? Here we are working on our S68 Charger that we're getting ready for the Roto Show at the beginning of February. Right now up front, we're working on the whole grill assembly, getting all the flip lights working and wired up. We move forward, we're getting our reservoir tanks for the dry sump tank and the power steering along with getting some hoses finalized in the wheel well that goes to like the AC unit, the breather tank and whatnot. We 
move on over here inside. We just got our dash installed. Got it all tested and working, and right now Paul is building door panels and finalizing the interior. Southbound. And um, yeah, it's getting there, and it'll be ready by beginning of February for the road show. Go ahead and check it out over there. So the, the rear quarter window hits the wheel tub in the back because we made big wheel tubs. So we're gonna have to trim the glass, but to see where it was at, I had the trim in there to measure the glass on how far we needed to cut. So when it goes down on the inside in there, there's a, a little slot that's cut in, in there for now for it to go into. And then we will trim that and then make a nice plate to cover the tub. There's this track that goes in right here and there's this screw with a jam nut and it moves the track back and forth. And you have to just adjust it just right to where it's tied up against the seal and goes up and then goes into this seal correctly. If you're off a little bit, it'll jam in or jam out and then you won't have the seal on the outside also. So it's, it's a lot of work. So we uh, got going on the 1968 Charger today and got this thing fired up. I just saw I just saw fire come out of the intake. Fire just came out of the intake. We had. Uh, Quite a few issues when the, when everything came to us. It was all in boxes. Uh, QMP built this awesome Hemi motor. Uh, it's 556 cubic inch, and uh, it's dry sump oiling. Um, and we've had to really do some weird stuff on the ignition system. So we're running uh, Coyote coil on plug coils, uh, which fit these Hemi valve covers perfectly. And uh, then we. Uh, we had a four magnet crank trigger from Holly or MSD, and um, we decided to go to a little better setup. So we ordered a 12 minus one uh, uh, Hall effect crank trigger. So we got that on today. We had to machine some parts to make that fit, but it was the same diameter as the other one. So it just, just did fit. And uh, we were really concerned about how our firing order was and uh, we got Blotto over here from V's Performance and immediately he went to town we figured that out. Is it easy to swap for you guys? Very easy. Oh, okay. Then do it. Yeah. I'm going to check one other thing, okay? Let it run. Yeah. Here, hit the, I think the battery's probably shot. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we have a better, give it some time to charge too that way. Yeah? Okay. Well, that, that should be good. Yeah. Yeah. Down, it's way too high. I don't 
pulled out to the zero, so it's not working at all. Uh, can we bring the mechanical idle down to about 900? And then we can have it start a little bit better. Or you can mess with all that later. Uh, I, I can hear it's firing on all cylinders. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Um, oh, no problem, dude. Yeah, I was getting worried. Oh, don't worry. I worry, like, I worry every day. I'm worried right now. <laughs> so it must, it's funny because fired up and uh, we got it all timed and we're ready for Grand National Roaster Show. So it's uh, Monday. I worked all weekend. Uh, Lauren and I worked all weekend on the charger. Uh, we got most of the interior all wrapped up. So got to cover the back seat. We got all this back seat built. Uh, Lauren got all the carpet and uh, the jute underneath of it. Uh, she got all that installed. Uh, we covered the trim pieces for the door and the A pillars. Got that done. Um, so. Got all the guys here this morning. I think there's like five or six of us working on it to finally get all the little stuff. Um, had a two page punch list that we're going through. Just knocking out a whole bunch of little stuff. But we got two days left, so we're, uh, we're getting close. Everybody worked, almost everybody in the shop yesterday worked on getting the car out. And last night uh, I kind of took over after everybody left and finished covering the back seat, put some windshield trim on, lined the front end, and I'm still making a couple of little parts, just covers and such. And we're getting loading up the trailer, getting out of here in a few minutes. So uh, look forward to the show.
Well, this little sticker means we made it. We're here, we've been judged, we got our display set up. All thanks to these guys and all the guys at the shop, I think everybody that works for us had a hand in building this car. I think everybody put a hand on it. I'm so proud of them, and uh, we're ready to show it off to, to basically the world. This is the world's greatest car show, so um, look forward to seeing y'all.